Hi everyone. In this video we're going to derive the basic trigonometric formulas. The fundamental formula of trigonometry and two formulas that can be derived from it. Let's go. We're going to obtain the basic formulas of trigonometry. And for this, we'll consider an acute angle alpha, like the one shown here. We'll form a right triangle from this by drawing from the base a perpendicular, wherever we like, for example here. And this makes our triangle. It's a right triangle because it contains an angle of 90 degrees. In a right triangle like this, the shorter sides are called the cathete, and the longer side the hypotenuse. Suppose in our case we call the cathete A and B and the hypotenuse H. Pythagoras' theorem says that the sum of the squares of the lengths of the cathete, in our case A squared plus B squared, is equal to the square of the length of the hypotenuse, H squared. Let's now divide this expression by H squared. On the left side we divide each of the add ends to give A squared over H squared plus b squared over h squared, and on the right we have h squared over h squared. Well, we can write the left side as a over h squared plus b over h squared, and this is equal to 1, because anything divided by itself is 1. Now let's calculate the trigonometric ratios of our angle alpha. First, remember that the sine of an angle is the opposite catheters divided by the hypotenuse. In our case, sine alpha is b divided by h. Cosine is the adjacent catheters divided by the hypotenuse, in our case, a over h. Do you notice anything? This is what appears in the formula we derived. We can substitute a over h squared for the cosine of alpha squared and b over h squared for the sine of alpha squared and put this equal to 1. So we've obtained what's known as the fundamental formula of trigonometry. Let's switch around the terms on the left, putting the sine of alpha squared first, so that we have sine squared alpha plus cos squared alpha equals 1. As you can see, the fundamental formula of trigonometry is nothing more than a trigonometric version of the Pythagorean theorem. Before continuing, notice that we obtain this formula using an angle that is acute. In other words, with a value between 0 degrees and 90 degrees, or in radians between 0 radians and pi over 2 radians. But this formula is also satisfied for other angles that are found in the circle, and in fact is valid generally for any angle. And you can show this as an exercise. Now let's obtain the two other formulas we mentioned at the beginning based on the fundamental formula of trigonometry. To do this, we simply divide all the terms of the fundamental formula by sine squared alpha and by cos squared alpha, respectively. First, let's divide by sine squared alpha. On the left, when we divide the two addends by sine squared alpha, we get sine squared alpha over sine squared alpha plus cos squared alpha over sine squared alpha equals, on the right side, 1 divided by sine squared alpha. So we have sine squared alpha over sine squared alpha, which is 1, plus cos squared alpha over sine squared alpha, and cos over sine, remember, is cotangent. It's cot squared alpha is equal to cosec squared alpha, remembering that 1 over sine is cosecant. And there's our first derived formula. Next we'll divide both sides of the fundamental formula by cos squared alpha. To give sine squared alpha over cos squared alpha plus cos squared alpha over cos squared alpha equals 1 over cos squared alpha. Sine over cos is tan, so on the left side we have tan squared alpha plus cos squared alpha over cos squared alpha which is 1, and this is equal to, remembering that 1 over cos is the secant, sec squared alpha. 
we'll switch around the add-ins on the left side so that the one appears in front, giving one plus tan squared alpha equals sec squared alpha. And there's the second of our derived formulas. Remember when using these formulas, it's important to take account of the quadrant to which the angle belongs and to choose the appropriate sign. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, again, you'll see that the philosophy uh, of this channel is to go beyond just memorizing to being able to derive the formulas that we're using, especially in cases like this where they're relatively straightforward. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you again very soon.